10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for sticking with us out there. A yearly and delicious tradition is coming to Bennington, Vermont this weekend, Garlic Town, USA. There's lots of events in store and of course plenty of great food. Here to break it all down is Matt Harrington from the Southwestern Vermont Chamber of Commerce. He joined us live right now from Bennington. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. Thank you guys so much for uh, for having us. You know, this is always a, a long held tradition here in Bennington, Vermont. So we just so appreciate you guys getting the word out and obviously inviting people uh, up here to Vermont and, and enjoying a day of garlic. This is something people get excited about each and every year. What are a couple of things that people can expect to have back this year and what's going to be new? Yeah, so uh, if people remember, this is a 28 year tradition. It started with Garlic Fest. A lot of people remember it being out on Camelot on Route 9. And um, and so, you know, that's been going on for many, many years. COVID happens. We have to rethink how we're doing festivals now. So we brought it downtown. Obviously, that helps our downtown grow and thrive as well. And so over the last couple of years, we've really built it back to the kind of old fashioned garlic fest that people remember. So, uh, you know, obviously we have garlic. Uh, we'll have over 120 vendors. We'll have over 125 uh, food trucks and dessert carts, uh, lemonade stands, things like that that people can expect. But we'll also have um, two bars. One of them is going to be uh, Romanto's down in Clove B, and I'm actually in Clove A right now, the Bennington uh, Village Garage Distillery. So ah. they'll be serving out <laughs> beer and cocktails all day long as well. Um, and then we have our bands too. So people really love that live music, kind of get that last feel of summer in. You can wander throughout the cloves as we call them, uh, go see vendors and also, you know, maybe have a cocktail too. Uh, so we've got a lot of fun things returning and then one of the newer things that we're, we're bringing here is just this. We're, we're actually expanding the footprint of one of our clothes, which will include all of the Village Garage. There's oh, nice. a stage in the back of Village Garage Distillery. So that'll be a full food court. It'll kind of feel like a, like a street fest. Uh, so people can expect, you know, a minimal amount of walking. Uh, we really kind of brought it all down into one central location on Depot Street in Bennington. And of course, those gates open at 10 a.m. and we close at 5 p.m. So those, those are some of the old things that are coming back, but also some of the new things to get excited about. Amazing. So much to do there, Matt. Now, I, I got to tell you, it's quite a unique festival. You don't hear a lot about a garlic festival. So what are some of the most unique items that people can either eat or drink at the garlic festival this year? Absolutely. Uh, you know, so it is unique. You know, one of the one of the things is we absolutely have uh, garlic. Uh, people yeah. can pick up seeds of garlic. People can bring up, uh, pick up their braids. Often they get wreaths and that lasts them the whole year. So I know a lot of people head out this way uh, just to pick up their traditional garlic that they're going to use all winter long. But we also have some specialty items too. maybe a garlic burger here, uh, some other garlic candy somewhere else and garlic salt. One of the neat things we're doing, we're doing demonstrations this year we're going to have a chef in the beginning uh, in the morning um, but we're also going to at the last demonstration that we do in the day we're going to bring back the garlic ice cream demonstration Ooh. and so everybody can come learn three easy ingredients to make garlic ice cream <laughs> i'm willing to try that matt so I mean, did you we'll, taste we'll have it you out here did you taste the garlic ice cream We'll, we'll take everything. Okay, we'll do <laughs> so it together. <laughs> we do have to give a shout out to our volunteers. We're actually on the festival fields right now setting up and also uh, early, early Saturday morning. Uh, we couldn't do it without over 120 volunteers. Wow. A lot of them from the Bennington community. So we give a big, big shout out to them as well. Now, as you're talking about volunteers, Matt, I want to ask you, how does this impact the entire economy there? I know so many people get involved. Yeah, well, one, absolutely just the civic pride of it all and just community pride. Um, but we're also putting this right at the heart of downtown Bennington, and it's kind of a unique time. I was just talking to a volunteer this morning who said, you know, I loved it at Camelot, but I just think you guys are doing such good work here, bringing, you know, we've estimated about eight to 10,000 people in one day uh, will visit us here at Garlic Town. Uh, plenty of room. Uh, all the restaurants are going to be open. They'll be serving garlic specials and drink specials as well. Um, we calculated last year, we probably put about $140,000 into downtown Bennington, small mom and pop shops in one uh, day. So uh, not only are you coming out to enjoy uh, the last little bits of summer, maybe chewing on some garlic, uh, <laughs> enjoying some time with family and friends, but you're also helping uh, your local community as well. And that's 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 awesome, too. Amazing, Matt. Before we go to commercial break, can you tell us one more time when it is and where it's located and how people can get tickets or if they need to? 
Absolutely. So it's Garlic Town USA. We'll be here on Saturday, September 2nd. That's you know tomorrow uh, down here in Bennington, Vermont. And the best way to get tickets and look at the map and find your favorite vendors is to go to www.garlictownusa.com. Amazing. Matt, thank you so much for joining us here. I'll be down there to try that ice cream out with you very soon. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for having us. Have a good one, Matt. Not